Hello friends, it's Cooper Troy here. In today's video, I wanted to showcase some of the weapons that are available in No Rest for the Wicked that probably aren't getting a ton of attention. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Moonshaft. Now, the Moonshaft is a one-handed rapier, and this, this weapon scales with dexterity and faith, but it also has a few different interesting properties that we'll be going over. So to talk about the, the, again, the weapon is a rapier. So that's going to mean that the moveset involves a lot of poking. And this weapon has, I think, a total of three standard animations. You have your dodge animation, which looks a little bit like that. So you just do a roll into a little bit of a lunging poke. And then you have a one, two poke attack, which looks something like this. It has pretty decent range. The second attack especially has a an additional lunge to it. This weapon does not have a charge attack. If you try to do a charge attack, you'll just do um, you, you'll just do nothing. <laughs> um, the, another interesting property about this weapon is it has cold damage built in. So that's going to mean this weapon is very good at building up the freeze status. And if you don't know the freeze status, once it triggers. It causes enemies to no longer be able to move or take action for um, a few seconds. It's very, very strong. And because this weapon is a fast weapon, it's very good at generating focus. So it's kind of a utility weapon. It does pretty okay damage, but its primary focus functions similarly to the dual daggers, which is you build up status effects, you attack very quickly, and you can kind of use that to funnel some of the damage into other aspects of your build. So the next thing to know about this weapon, it comes innately with the air dodge rune attack. This rune attack seems to be pretty good in my opinion. What it does is you do this little somersault here and while you're doing the somersault, you're actually invulnerable. So you can use this to have very high uptime on bosses. You can iframe through attacks and just continue to build up that freeze effect. The combo with air dodge, I think one rune that goes very well on this rapier is evasive pierce. Now evasive pierce is interesting because it actually has this effect where it will like knock enemies down and you can do some follow-up damage from there. So if I do like something like this, you can see it knocks him down and then I can follow it up with an, an attack, just basically whatever you want. So really, this this rune attack feels very good for the mobility, for the crowd control, and I think it combos very well with this rapier. Now very quickly, I just want to go into some of the weapons that might pair pretty well with the Moonshaft. So again, this weapon seems like it's very good at control. You can knock enemies down with Evasive Pierce, and with Air Dodge, you are very strong at having high uptime, and because this weapon is dealing cold damage with almost every single one of its attacks, you're going to eventually build up this freeze effect. And with that freeze effect, you can have some just different payoffs. So like, for example, uh, with the rapier equipped, I have um, patience. This is a one, or this is just an offhand bow that scales with dexterity and faith. If you combo this with um, the cone shot into that, that freeze status effect, you're gonna be doing some major damage. And to go along with that freeze effect, and just essentially supplement what Moonshaft is doing. I included the Ice Arrow um, Rune Attack for Patience. So this lets me build up that freeze effect from a distance if um, an enemy happens to dodge too far away and I can't get them with the Moonshaft. I can at least hit them with Ice Arrow to continue building up that freeze effect. And then the payoff here would be getting some cone shots in or just taking the moment when an enemy is frozen to just keep poking them with Moonshaft to build up a surplus of focus. Another weapon that I think combos very well with this is basically any two-hander that has a big attack attached to it. So one example is over here on this weapon, I have Eruption. Eruption does a very large amount of burst damage. Um, it might not be the best, but I it was doing the most damage in a single hit for the weapons that I have, which is why I was using this. Um, right now I'm just kind of experimenting with some other runes, so that's why I have this other spliced hammer. 
So essentially, because you're trying to take advantage of that freeze effect, any two-handed weapon that's going to do a large amount of damage in a short amount of time is where you can kind of capitalize again on that freeze effect. Okay, so now for some of the actual enchantments that you want to be chasing for the Moonshack. So again, this is going to function probably similar to most weapons, but especially with the dual dagger type. So you're going to be wanting to get the focus gain on damage dealt. So in this case, on this rare quality, I have gained 1% focus on damage dealt, so that's decent enough. Uh, but the other, the other enchantment that you want to chase is... Um, healing based off of the damage dealt so example here is gain three health on damage dealt from my crow ring that's another very good passive effect to have because again you're dealing damage very quickly so that helps um kind of keep yourself sustained and because this weapon is very high uptime very mobile and you have iframes built into your kit you're going to be able to have that high uptime to sustain yourself if you do take damage and then the final um, enchantment that you probably want to chase, this is more of a luxury and not a requirement, but it's going to be extra cold damage. I'm not entirely sure if the extra cold damage does scale with um, how quick, or like if, if extra cold damage will freeze enemies quicker, but because this weapon does with its basic attacks, it does entirely freeze damage. It's going to mean that the extra cold is going to freeze them or uh, it's going to scale better, essentially. Or the final trait that you could get is simply um, just damage dealt increase, so similar to what I have on my spliced hammer. Next, we have some of the armor passives to chase after. I think one of the most important ones, like any build, is going to be chasing after focus gain increase. So on my pants here, as an example, I have focus gain increased by 17%, so that's going to be a very solid option. And then I think the second um, enchantment that you probably want to chase is going to be a stamina refill chance on damage dealt. So I have that effect on my hands and this is going to give me a 14% chance whenever I'm dealing any damage to instantly refill my stamina. Again, that's going to let me play very aggressively and just constantly keep up my attacks and I don't really have to worry about stamina too much with this effect. Now finally for the last section here that I want to go over is just the playstyle. As you might expect, this weapon, you're supposed to be very nimble, so you just want to get into these in uh, So you just want to get into these engagements and just poke as much as you can and build up this freeze effect and then you can do payoffs in various different ways. So really you're just kind of looking for um, opportunities to trigger freeze and then you can do some payoffs with your rune attacks. You can dodge through attacks and um, really you're just like, it's very free form and how you want to keep up your pressure. Um, but again, you can crumple enemies whenever you do your uh, evasive pierce and then you can swap to another weapon to do another rune attack for some follow-up damage. I know that was not a very clean <laughs> showcase. I cannot multitask while I'm doing this. But next, I want to just go over some of the possible combos that you can do. Uh, so again, this all really starts with the rapier itself. So if I wanted to do something like um, evasive pierce, I can do some ev evasive pierce into my heavy, which does two lunging attacks. I almost fell off there. So basically any evasive pierce into a forward advancing um, rune attack is a very strong combo. Something else that you can do is, again, once you trigger a freeze effect on the rapier, you can go into a cone shot. So the example of cone shot would look something like, if I can get him over here, build up my freeze effect and and he's frozen so i can just do that and blast and with that i'm going to wrap up this weapon showcase for the moon shaft let me know what you guys think in the comments below what kind of weapons uh, or runes would you slot into or pair with this weapon i tend to really like this type of playstyle where you have to be nimble to try to dodge around enemies and just have high uptime and because of the air dodge ability i think this weapon has some really fun iframe moments where you can just be really aggressive it feels really cool to dodge through attacks 
and I just, in, in general, having a great time with this weapon. But once again, this was Goober Troy saying thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.